today let's have a honest genuine conversation with each other yes you you the viewer me the mentor let's have a one to one honest genuine conversation about what is your true potential well this question has come to me several times by several students in different formats somebody will ask me do you believe in me somebody will say do you think i can do this somebody will say i don't think i can do this right and uh, recently i read this quote by ankur wariku where he says that trust in the person never let go of the person who believes in you when you yourself don't believe in yourself right and i genuinely believe in each one of you your true potential so today we will have a one to one conversation you and me about how to identify your true potential as a professional now i learned all of this the harder way so i'm going to try it. i'm i'm going to simplify this for you but at times it can seem complicated so take notes and uh, let's get started so the first thing is if you really want to know your true potential then you have to challenge yourself okay just write on paper what is the biggest challenge you face right now in your career challenge yourself that in 30 days i will solve this challenge right in 60 days i'll solve, solve the challenge so set a target and solve the challenge so challenge yourself that's the first step the next will be unleash your hidden potentials now you have to learn to identify and leverage your unique strength so you have to find out what exactly is your strength right is it talking is it doing is it reading is it listening is it writing whatever is your strength is it learning new things is it repeating the old things is it not doing new things what exactly is your strength find that out right now unleash that hidden strength next you have to address any kind of gaps gaps can be weaknesses gaps can be performance gaps right so all all you have to do is do your swot analysis and find your gaps okay find your weaknesses plug your weaknesses plug the gaps monitor your performance monitor the next 30 days monitor how you are going write it down don't just think and you know keep it in mind write it down okay and then you will see marvelous innovations happening around you just today i have written the quotation that curiosity leads to innovation and innovation leads to happiness and prosperity right so be curious about yourself what all is my strength what all is my weaknesses what all the gaps in my success plug that right and how do you do that obviously you if you even if you ask yourself you may not get the right answer so reach out to a mentor talk to a mentor if you don't have a mentor i am here talk to me have the power of feedback by your side understand what exactly is going wrong talk to your mentor understand what exactly is his feedback and take it constructively take it take it positively and implement it so challenge yourself look into the right, right direction and start working in a realistic way set goals dream big like i have uh, written in today's uh, morning uh, write up that if you can make more glasses then you can fill more glasses so see more dreams big dreams big hairy audacious goals b h a g and then create an action plan how would you achieve that goal how would you achieve that plan and monitor your progress measuring your progress monitoring your progress is the real progress because if you are not not monitoring you are not knowing you are driving blind so you have to identify while you are monitoring you are you have to identify and overcome the limiting belief you know many students start preparing for any competitive exam or any job interview and they have this limiting belief that i will not get selected they will not select me they will not uh, you know um, give me a job they will just reject me or i'll not never qualify this exam all this self doubt you have to identify okay this is a self doubt get rid of it you should know that there are two things in your mind okay in, inside you that's one is mind and another is the soul the mind starts torturing you the moment you start failing but the same mind is actually a weapon we have to use it in the right way so recognize your self doubt and get rid of it challenge your limitations understand that okay maybe 8 hours studying is a limitation maybe going to bangalore and giving this interview is a limitation maybe money is a limitation whatever is your limitation challenge it overcome it 
finish it off once for all but do not give up do not say that i cannot do it because there is there is a challenge i was born in one of the poorest state in the poorest family with lowest educational background but still i could make it if i can do it you can do it you can do it better than me you can do 100 times better than me because i have full confidence and belief in you so that is what you have to cul cultivate self confidence if i if i can if i can sit here and talk to you you can sit there and prepare for whatever future you want to build dream big have more glasses fill more glasses never ever get scared of the goals goals will always be there today there is educational goal tomorrow will be targets in the job day after tomorrow there will be financial targets after that there will be family targets 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 will always be there you cannot stop that okay but if you embrace that okay come target all targets okay i think 17 years ago i wrote this quotation that all problems come to you to get solved okay so all problems all challenges are coming to you just to get solved they they're just making you ready for the next problem actually because every day you will face new problems today there is no water in the uh, shower tomorrow there is no milk delivered to your home day after tomorrow there is no clothes pressed to go to the office so there will always be a problem right embrace the challenges overcome the challenges create protocols create systems of accurate planning and execution that is the system you have to build and then persistence and resilience resilience so the glasses which i told you the dreams are the glasses but you have to fill the water in those glasses right and though that water is persistence that water is resilience i'm not saying that you do 100% every day i'm just saying that just show up right at biotechnica we have so many employees do you think all of them are 100% no but they all show up 100% every day if they can just show up 100% every day we can do wonders and that's what we are doing correct resilience and persistence that will help you bounce back from a demotivated state or a, any setback or failure it will help you you can always come back because you have a persistence you have a resilience now embracing the continuous learning phase you know many students come to me and say sir i'm bored of studies let's go for a job but you forgot my dear friend job is also learning it's applied learning you're going there implementing whatever you have learned whether you got it in your field or a different field you have to learn right if it is different field obviously you have to learn if it is your field whatever you have learned you have to apply correct so you have to embrace learning throughout your life okay as i'm speaking to you even i'm learning many things which i didn't knew earlier right so build a support network after that okay so you have to have a support network so that can be parents teachers mentors and i of course i am always there for you all of you i'm always there my email id is shekhar@biotechnica.org and shekhar@rasayanika.com these two email ids you can send me a email depending on which uh, particular uh, brand you are following biotechnica or rasayanika you have to identify your tribe that's very important you have to know this that when you go to internet like youtube just other day there is a person who comments that all the in job interviews are fixed in india i was like aisa thodi hota hai right but many people will believe that no no it is true right so if you identify the wrong tribe you will never get the opportunity if you identify the right tribe you will get the opportunity so identify your tribe where you belong okay next mentorship and guidance mentorship and guidance will help you a lot see i was not a successful person i was a mediocre below average a very shy person who didn't know what to do like in life but if i could get here you can get 100000 times ahead of me now coming to the next part which is collaboration and brainstorming sit with your mentor talk discuss collaborate understand the requirement what is the need of the hour chalk out action plan brainstorm the action plan find out the loopholes plug the loopholes find out your strength and strengthen your strength that is how we all grow professionally that is how you are going to grow professionally that is how you are going to achieve your true potential many students brush this, these videos off like okay this is just a motivation video this is a action video right unless your mind is ready for the action you cannot take action and if you cannot take action you will always be unsuccessful so take this video seriously it's high time to continuously evaluate your current situation and adjust your potential then only if you will find your true potential it is like you are in the sea the wind is blowing this way so the sail has to be this way if the wind is blowing that way your the sail has to be that way you have to adjust the sail according to the environment if today the demand is of computational biology and if i go and learn some uh, uh, zoology or some some uh, other subject it may not help 
So I have to embrace learning. I have to reflect and refine where I went wrong and change. Right? Embrace the change and stay committed to it. See, I'm committed to Biotechnica and Rasayanika for the last 17 years. You can see. I grew a flower on the top of a rock. Okay? It is very tough to do what we have done in Biotechnica and Rasayanika. Only we could do because me, my team was committed. Right? We will not give up. We will keep trying. Same thing, same message I have for you. Keep trying. There's no day where you will say, I'm unlucky, I cannot do anything. There's no such thing as unlucky. The only truth is, your grit, your perseverance, your persistence, your resistance to um, naysayers, and your uh, acceptance to change will bring you success. Will eventually expose the real, true you within you. And that day, you will realize that your personality is an onion. With each layer, a new person will come up. A new method of thinking will come up. So all you have to do, my dear friend, today is believe in yourself. Believe in your true potential. Build on the top of your existing potential and then you will achieve your true potential. With these thoughts, I wish you all the best. Let me know in the comment section, what are your thoughts? And if you have identified your true potential, what you would like to become? And let's win that goal one step at a time one day at a time all the best bye bye